First at 11, new developments in a controversial encounter between teenagers and Broward Sheriff's deputies. State prosecutors now getting involved amid mounting calls for one of the deputies to be fired. Tonight, the family of the teen who was pepper sprayed and thrown to the ground has hired a high profile attorney. Meantime, the president of the deputies union insists that the force was justified. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is working this investigation. He's live at BSO headquarters tonight with our top story. Kerry. Well, right now, the deputy seen on that cell phone video on top of this young man is on administrative assignment while BSO's internal affairs investigators look into what happened here. I'm told that internal affairs will review the cell phone video, body camera footage. They'll talk to witnesses, possibly talk to the deputies involved. They'll be looking at whether BSO's training was followed as well as their use of force protocols. The cell phone video of Broward Sheriff's deputies pepper spraying a teen in Tamarack, throwing him to the ground and slamming his head into the concrete, continues to make headlines in Florida and across the country. Christopher Kirkovich needs to be arrested and terminated from the Broward Sheriff's office. On Monday, a small group of protesters demanded action be taken against the deputy seen on top of the teen, Deputy Christopher Krikovich. According to the Broward Sheriff's Office, the teen in the video bent down to pick up a cell phone belonging to another juvenile accused of trespassing. Then, according to a BSO report, the teen bladed his body and clenched his fists. That's when the pepper spray happened. Activist Antoine Edwards believes the teen did nothing wrong. Nothing about that was excessive, nothing about that was a threat. And I think just because we're black, we are, you know, presumed to be threats. But we're human beings just like everyone else, and we deserve to be treated as such. The video has been publicly condemned by several Broward leaders, including the county mayor and a member of the school board. Sheriff Gregory Tony denied our requests for an on-camera interview and has stood by this video statement released by the agency last week saying they will do an investigation. Over the next few days, this may take some time for us to look thoroughly into, but understand that we will be transparent and if folks need to be held accountable, it shall be done. High-profile lawyer Benjamin Crump confirmed to CBS 4 News that he's now representing the teen accused in the case. Also, there's a GoFundMe account set up to raise funds for the teen's defense. Meanwhile, the union representing the deputies in the video said they stand by them. What they did that day, uh, they were trained to do. They were following their agency implemented training. Uh, they used the amount of force necessary to affect the arrest. Union President Jeff Bell said deputies are allowed to pepper spray before being kicked or punched. He also said it's standard policy for deputies to take someone who's been pepper sprayed to the ground and that deputies were trying to subdue the juvenile and that's why his head was slammed into the ground. Antoine Edwards says he doesn't see the need for a lengthy investigation. I just don't understand what they mean when they say they have to do an investigation when we all saw the same video. Can't clearly can't be another side because it is what it is. And many more developments are expected in this case. BSO's internal affairs investigation is moving forward. Today, the Broward State Attorney's Office announced that they've opened an investigation. And I'm told the NAACP will hold a news conference on the incident later this week here in Fort Lauderdale. Live at BSO, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.